All right, post game, a wild one here from the Hot Parker Arena. Jordan Kiss with assistant coach Harry Mahesh. Kings finishing off their homestand with a victory, their second win in or third win in a row, second against the Eagles, uh, seven to four in a, a a crazy one here. Uh, lots of highs. It got to a, a little bit of a low for a bit in this game. Uh, overall, after this game has ended, Harry, what are your kind of initial thoughts throwing through your head right now? Well, it's kind of funny now, just going back to the first time I did this with you in Salmon Arm, where we were down and came back up. And I remember saying that, you know, uh, we're not in a place right now that adversity is, uh, you know, whenever we're down, we, it seems to be a, you know, a good time for us to fold the tent. But we've shown tonight now, like, you know, we're, we're a team that's on the rise. We did a lot of good things. Um, you know, we let them back in. And um, just the fact that we were able to respond right away. So, you know, it's, it's great as a coaching staff to see that now we can play in in every situation and now you know expect to win in every game uh, well let, let's break down this game because there's, there's a lot to get to the first period uh this king's team continued right where they left off last night three goals in the first 10 minutes and you you, you get off to that third three nothing lead this building's buzzing and it's going really well for you guys yeah that was a great start for us i mean uh better than you can draw up really to go up three nothing that quick um which was awesome, you know, everybody's kind of firing. You kind of pick up where we left off yesterday. Uh, we were very happy with that, but, I mean, the Surrey team is, they're at the top for a reason, and, and I, think, I think we saw the true, you know, reason why they're up there because for the last part of that first and then early, in the, or obviously a big chunk of the second, you know, they got us really kind of spun around, and, you know, we, we saw their best, and, uh, you know, they pressed us pretty well, but we were still able to get through it. Yeah, and then and th th they score that, that that one goal, that two on one, and we talked just before we we, we do this interview that at that point you're like, oh, oh boy, is like what's happening here? Like that that that's, again, that was that was a good goal. It, yeah, it yeah. wasn't so much a like oh boy as it was like okay, now they're now they're on, you know, mm -hmm. their rushes. That's something we prepped all week for. I mean, as much as you prepare, like it is one of their strengths, and you could see every every time you know they're coming down three on two, two on one, and. You know, their, their defense are very active. And for a while, we were trying to weather this storm a little bit. And then, obviously, they came back and tied it. It took the lead, uh, again, off, of, off, of, off the rush. So, again, we kind of hit the have to hit the reset. And I'm, I'm glad we did. We, You know, it's not – you never want to be in that situation. But it's always good to, to get through it when you do. Mm -hmm. And then, well, let's go to that second period. You outshot the Eagles 19-5 to after that first period. And you mentioned that they started to find their way at the end of the first period. And then – you know, you knew they they, they were going to have a, a really good period coming up in the second, and they came out right from the right from the opening face off, scoring 50 seconds in, and as as you mentioned, leading the way all the way to taking the lead four to three. Yeah, and I mean that first one was a little bit of a you know a little bit of a gift. Um, you know, we just a little mistake uh, on our part, but even before that, I think the first 20 30 seconds they were really pressing, and then so yeah, you know, you can't really make a mistake against those guys because they'll capitalize, and then obviously the the third goal, the fourth goal. That's when they found their rhythm. But, you know, it's just another, you know, sign that, you know, we, we can kind of compete with teams. And, you know, we, we saw their best and we were still able to come out with it um, at the end. And, uh, yeah, I was just very happy that we were able to just kind of keep our composure. Even when it got to 4-3, uh, you've seen many times before where that's almost the beginning of the end for us. And it didn't really feel that way. Again, we got a little bit of a lucky one on the fourth one, which this weekend – you know, you got to be good to be lucky, and maybe that's a sign that we're getting better because we're getting luckier too. And, and that 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 was kind of the moment where things shifted because you no know, Surrey was rolling, and then they get another, but you no know, bad bounce against them here in the end this weekend series as as Belange scores, and then at the end, uh, kind of a, another good one, Ryder Ringer puts the Kings up right at the buzzer. Yeah, and that last one was a bit of a broken play. Uh, you know, Park Lalon kind of went down uh, for a little bit of injury. There was about two seconds left. Uh, yeah, Ringer, you know, he tucked that in. And, uh, again, uh, you know, just to go up uh, one going into the third there was a great, you know, great kind of point for us. And then, you know, you never want to see a guy get hurt. But that's something where the guys rally around and, you know, they, they play for a guy. Parker had a great weekend. You know, he was physical. He was in the battle. It was one of his better weekends for sure, if not his best in terms of his complete game. And to see him get hurt uh, is tough. Uh, you know, we hope a speedy recovery. But, you know, the guys definitely rallied uh, around that because, you know, he was a big part of that that goal as well. And then that third period, you, now you started the game with 11 forwards. Now you're down to nine because not only you you lose Parker Lawn, you're out with Cam Simons, who had a great fight in, in that second period with Cole Galata. And it, it, as you mentioned, you, you know, you guys kind of had, had to uh, weather the storm uh, for, for a, a, a good, good portion of that third period. Yeah, I, I don't know the protocol on coaches commenting on fights anymore. Um, 
but you know that came off a great uh great penalty kill where he you know he, he stepped up and the guys were great there and then yeah it's, it's a great fight you don't see those often uh and that got the guys going as well and yeah and then you're down to nine and then we still had 7d so i mean that's just like playing you know you know now it's just next man up and that was great and now everybody's got you know a bit of a rhythm uh three lines i mean i'm sure most forwards would tell you they they prefer three lines and it's nice to have a you know an extra bodies for rest but no, once uh, you know, once you get to that point, you're just looking for the finish line and, and you're grinding it out. But we didn't just kind of sit back, as you can see, we were able to pull away again. And I mean, we we're up by three, so it's you know, it's kind of nice to to win by three as well. Yeah, and and it seemed you know we've seen in previous in the third period when you're up, you've been you've been able to you know shut the door, and it seemed like you were able to do that for the the entire third period there. Yeah, and again, like they were, like they're they're a good team, and they had us in a blender in our own zone. And I can't say that we did a great job. Um, executing but we were very aware of what they were doing and we were we were maybe just a half a second behind but we were close enough that we could finish the plays and uh, i like the buy-in from everybody you know like a lot of times when you you're up it's very easy to, to to play defensive but you know we looked for openings and you know the fact that we were able to, to score a couple uh was great and then, so you, you win this one, you, you wrap up the homestand, you know, with a 5-3 and three record, a win and a record, and, and going into it, you know, you knew this homestand was, was going to really set the tone for the rest of the season for the Kings, and it seemed like to, uh, you know, set the tone in, in a really positive side here, and, you know, what are your takeaways from, from this last eight games? Well, I mean, to be honest, like, our, we didn't start very good at home, uh, you know, and it's my first time here on Powell River, and uh, it was just great to see the fans, and... I, I honestly think everybody who's come and watched these last eight games has been treated to some great hockey, and I think that's really important. Uh, we, we, you know, every night's an entertaining night, and I think if you're coming to one of our games here, now you're expecting a, you know a good, a good hockey game. You know, even the ones that you know maybe we don't get the best of. You know, people have walked out of here really complimentary of us. So this is great. You know, we we had a bit of a goal going into this uh, eight game home stretch, and eight and five was. You know, you know, six two five and three was kind of where we thought was uh, realistic and and achievable, and we did it. And more importantly, like we didn't just reach a goal, but we gained a ton of confidence as well. Hundred percent. And now going forward, obviously, you know, there, there's still some work to do. You still have another week before you uh, you uh, everybody gets to go home for Christmas. As you no, know, it's another two games. You guys are back on the road. It's been a while since this team's back on the road. That. Do you think that could maybe play a factor into next weekend's game? No, no. You know, we, we've already addressed the fact that, you know, this, this week in junior hockey is always tricky mentally for the guys. Everybody's thinking about going home, and, and we get it. It's not just going to be us. It's going to be our opponents too. Uh, you know, we're 3-0 we're and against our opponents coming up this weekend with Couch and Victoria, and there's no reason why we don't think we can go in and win two more. Um, but, like, we got to get right back to work. I mean, that's the important thing too. We got three in a row now. It feels good. But, you know, we have to quickly remember that, you know, we still are battling for that playoff spot. And, you know, we were lucky that when, you know, we weren't getting the, the outcomes in our scores, we were getting some favor on the road. But now it seems like everybody kind of wait with us is picking up points. So, you know, you just bank the points and you just keep going. Well, the Kings will try to keep going as they uh, hit the road next weekend uh, in Couchin and Victoria, Friday and Saturday at 7 o'clock. Thank you very much, Harry, as always, for your time here at Postgame. Yeah, thank you, and Merry Christmas, everybody.